Well, uh, to shed more light on uh, this, we have the pleasure to have with us over the phone our dear guest, Dr. Hassin Khaled, former Minister of Higher Education. Good afternoon, uh, sir. Good afternoon. Well, uh, Dr. Khaled, uh, um, uh, uh, how is it important that the Dutch uh, Linden uh, uh, ranking uh, uh, have chosen uh, the number of universities uh, from uh, Egypt, on top of which is the Cairo University, then the Ain Shams University, after this the Mansoura University, then Alexandria and the Gazig University? Uh, well, <laughs> this uh, uh, Dutch uh, uh, ranking system mm -hmm. called the CWTS ranking uh, is one of many uh, international ranking, ranking systems that classify universities according to different uh, evaluation parameters. We have the Chinese uh, English two, uh, two, two English ranking system. We have also the um, uh, uh, American and the Spanish and the Dutch and many others. And of course, uh, it is very good that uh, uh, most of our universities are taking uh, uh, taking care and taking benefit from uh, being uh, advanced year after year in these ranking systems uh, because they uh, knew how to, uh, to develop and to uh, facelift uh, the, uh, the uh, infrastructure they have and the scientists they have and uh, they very well would present this uh, criteria and so, year after year, we are developing and we have more and more universities and this has many benefits, of course. Yes, uh, so what is the criteria by which uh, they have uh, chosen uh, the uh, Egyptian universities? Uh, um, uh, the quality of uh, the education, of course, or the, uh, the number of uh, the educational uh, hours or what? Uh, it differs from a classification to another one. Yes. And, uh, for example, the Chinese one depends on the uh, uh, scientists who work or uh, are graduated from universities and gained the Nobel Prize in, in the applied sciences the, uh, or uh, social uh, uh, sciences and humanities. Uh, also, they uh, depend on the uh, percent ratio between the number of students and the number of the uh, university staff. Also, there are uh, the number of publications uh, published in international journals every year, and the uh, the percent average of each scientist uh, related to the number of his uh, publication. In addition to this, there is also the uh, uh, work of international uh, uh, professors or staff in in the uh, located university or. Uh, the graduates uh, came from other countries to study in uh, this university. These are some of the elements, but of course, they differ from uh, uh, one university to the other. Yes. So what are the universities that uh, uh, all the best uh, majors that uh, uh, the Egyptian universities compete uh, with the, the international universities? Well, I think that the best parameter that we must depend on for all universities is the quality and the quantity of uh, international publications because these are the uh, parameters that we can um, work on it. Uh, you know, of course, it is very difficult to now have uh, Nobel Prize uh, graduates or uh, winners uh, from our universities like in the past. In the past, we had, for example, Najib Mahfouz in the social sciences. We have President uh, Yasser Arafat uh, and President uh, Anwar Sadat as well. So, uh, President uh, and, and also Professor Mohammed Al Baradei. These are the. Uh, it's very difficult now to have uh, this kind of Nobel Prize. So we must depend on the uh, quality and quantity of international publications and we must depend on the uh, improving the infrastructure we have and the ratio between the students and the professors working at uh, any university.
Yes. Uh, also, uh, the, uh, um, the uh, Egyptian universities, by uh, uh, implementing or by uh, uh, using the uh, online study and the digital, digital system, how, how do you see the importance of this in coping with the international standards? This, uh, this is a very well uh, comment. A very, very good comment. Thank you, so uh, you much. know that uh, uh, the uh, uh, internet and the on the site of each university is the place where uh, the activities are published, and it is the place where people are seeing this university. And uh, as I said before, this is uh, uh, one of the important items for face lifting and for showing the university. Uh, I will, I will tell you a nice example. Yes, uh, in the near uh, 2009, when President Obama visited Cairo University, uh, the ranking of Cairo University uh, rose to be number nine worldwide. And this was just because many, many people are just showing and seeing what is the uh, present in Cairo University. And they, uh, you know, they go directly and they uh, uh, open it and see what has uh, been said and published, and this uh, raises uh, raise the ranking. So the uh, website of any university is very important. The networking and the uh, IT technology and the online courses and lectures, all of this are also of the parameters that are needed to um, evaluate our universities and the world, other world universities. Uh, and, uh, of course, there are many, so uh, it is not, you know, enough time to mention all of this. Yes. Uh, what are the other classifications that have uh, chosen also the Cairo uh, University in uh, its advanced uh, rankings? Uh, this is not uh, the first time, of course, because uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, Cairo University, we all know that it's coping with the international standards. Well, we, uh, we started this job when I was the Vice President of Cairo Universities in the year uh, 2005, 2008. And at that time, uh, uh, it was the first time for us to enter into the Shanghai uh, ranking system, which is the most important ranking system worldwide. And uh, fortunately, uh, Cairo University um, kept its uh, ranking between the 400 and 500 uh, till now. Uh, and it is advancing in uh, the subspecialities, for example, in the pharmacy and the uh, uh, medicine and also in engineering. They are, the, these subspecialities are among the top 200 uh, subspecialities worldwide. And this was followed uh, Cairo University was followed by Shams University and Mansoura and Alexandria and uh, I hope to see all um, Egyptian universities among these uh, important ranking systems. Uh, yes, uh, yes. So um, uh, you've mentioned, uh, Doctor, uh, that um, uh, Dr. Khaled, you've mentioned while uh, you were commenting on uh, my questions uh, uh, that the classification uh, uh, in which uh, the uh, Egyptian universities have been chosen goes back also uh, one of the reasons to the number of students. Do you mean the large number of students or uh, uh, the small number of students? No, the ratio between the number of students to the uh, number of uh, staff uh, teaching them in the university. Uh, uh, as much if you have a low percent, then this means that uh, this is a good universe. For example, if for uh, one staff, uh, uh, he is responsible for 10, is better than responsible for 20 or for 50 and so on. So yes. if you have large number of students, you have to afford large number of university staff and vice versa. Yes. 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 I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for your valuable information. Uh, Dr. Hussein Khaled, the former uh, Minister of Higher Education, thank you very much for joining us over uh, the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break and I'm going to be back with you.